Greetings, Hebron family. Hey, we are just coming back from fall break. My family and I, we had some time down at Walt Disney World and uh, enjoyed the rides. We had a little bit of rain, but we still had a great time. So I hope you are coming back restful and recuperated after uh, a busy start to the school year. So as we're talking about this idea of rest and recuperation, hey, you need rest to be able to pursue excellence. And excellence is really kind of our theme for today. So out of Daniel chapter six, uh, in verse three, it says, now Daniel so distingu distinguished himself among the administrators and the satraps by his exceptional qualities that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. So I love this example that we see with Daniel that he pursues excellence. He pursues excellence in everything that he does. Now we may say, how could that happen? And I think the answer is in chapter one and verse 17, it says, God gave knowledge and understandings of all kinds of literature and learning. So God blessed him with the ability to do these things. Well, the same is true of all of us, that God has blessed us with certain skill sets. God's blessed us with certain abilities for us to be able to do uh, things of excellence, to do things with an excellent perspective. And so as we're thinking about excellence here on this campus, I wanna also introduce you to Dr. Patrick Mulvihill, who uh, will be leading our professional development day, and also to two of our teachers, Mrs. Taylor, who is my wife, uh, and also uh, to Mrs. Boyd. And both of these folks are third grade teachers and they're teaching kids multiplication through using our STEM program and ski slopes. Today my class is in the STEM lab at building gondolas. This gives the students an opportunity to design and test a vehicle, a gondola, that will carry little counting bears up a ski slope. Um, one of the great things about this project is we have not really given them any direction. They are allowed to use um, pipe cleaners, cups, paper, construction paper, and design a vehicle that will hold little counting bears. We're doing this because we're introducing multiplication in third grade. So we start with the idea of equal groups, and then from there we move to arrays, and arrays moving to the idea of what multiplication is. So yesterday they worked on making tally marks, which they're also done with bar graphing. And they understood from moving from tally marks and the groups of how many bears would get up in each lift all the way to the top, and then they'd apply that after and understand counting by fives. We had five groups of five, that's going to give us 25. If we had four groups of four, that's going to give us 16. So they're taking the actual physical application of doing and applying it over to multiplication and making that transfer in math class. So this year we're having a professional development training day uh, specifically for our Google products. Uh, since the transition to Google uh, this year we felt like it would be important to have an opportunity to do a deep dive into the Google Workspace for Education platform. Uh, this will give everyone a common language and basic foundation as we explore this new working environment. Thank you, Dr. Mulvihill. Thank you, Mrs. Taylor. And thank you, Mrs. Boyd, for your excellence in everything that you're doing. Hey, as long as we're talking about excellence, we have some stellar students. And so I want to do a big shout out to our stellar students of the week, Sophia Perez, Alan Roberts, Sarah Mix, and Bo Bennett. Congratulations to you four who are the stellar students of the week. Closing prayer. Father God, thank you, Lord, so much for who you are and all of the blessings that you give to us here at Hebron. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity to serve you in this capacity. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. HCA, have a great week.